Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Mi 11X, the Poco F3 or also known as the Redmi K40 in some regions. Today we are talking about a great ROM that is Aero OS Official. The latest version of this particular ROM is flashed on this device. I have been using it since yesterday. I have tried almost all the aspects that I could in this short time. So this is going to be a first look and quick impressions of this particular ROM for the Mi 11X. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other on similar topics. So join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash. Let's get going. All right, so what do we have here? We have an unlocked Mi 11X running Aero OS official Android version 11. The security patch is the latest 5th of August 2021 and the kernel is a Aero kernel as well. The build number is this and this is the build date that is the 10th of August. So a pretty, pretty recent update over here. Now to look at the change log, what we will actually do is we will go to the K40 or F3 updates section this ROM has been recently updated. We do have a ton of other ROMs that have come for this device. So we will be making videos on them as well. So as I have stated earlier, more than 80% of our views are coming from people who have not subscribed to the channel. So if you're new here, please subscribe. If you watch the content regularly, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really, really motivates and supports us. So this is the version that we are talking about. And if you talk about the device, change log over here let's go ahead and open it so se policy address more denials clean up root dir scripts use pixel animation for power of charger add missed wfc overlay add missed r i l and wi-fi props kernel fixed touch delay miscellaneous fixes and upstream changes now there is something that i've not done in this particular update so far that is running the benchmarks or trying gaming because i've been using this phone as a personal device and I wanted to give you a first impressions video of actually what you should expect and what are the highlights and maybe when we do a complete review of some sort we will go ahead and do benchmarks as well. So first things first when you boot to the home screen this is what you're greeted with on Aero OS. You just have a Google search bar at the top and at the bottom you have some icons with extreme smoothness. Let me tell you this this is amazing this rom is very very smooth i have tried aero os on k k20 pro i have tried aero os on the poco x3 pro yes definitely they are smooth this device the poco x3 pro is also 120 hertz display but the experience that i'm getting on the mi 11x in terms of smoothness on this particular rom is truly appreciable and truly next level now the yellow accent that you see over here is something that i have customized because i sort of like it to look different so if you press and hold over here you do have home settings and you do have developer options in which you can go ahead and do extended settings as well but you do have quite a lot of customization when it comes to the launcher the pre-built launcher or included launcher in aero os so that is something really really neat you can you know pause the video and have a look at all the customization options available because apart from this you will notice when you go to settings this particular rom doesn't really focus on a lot of customization it focuses on stability fluidity and battery life with good performance and that is what you get with aero os on the mi 11x so if you actually go to settings over here you do see that it is following the android 11 guideline if you go to network and internet and say you go to a connected wi-fi you will have those advanced options wherein you can automatically reconnect you can check your network usage you can have the qr code you have an option to disconnect and forget over here you can also share the wi-fi network now moving on you have mobile network of options. I have Geo, I have used voice over LTE and it is working absolutely fine. You can enable or disable the traffic indicators in the status bar over here. Small mobile type icon, mobile plan, VPN, data saver, hotspot and tethering, everything working as expected. Moving on, we have the connected devices section. Now over here, you can use Bluetooth, Android Auto and all those things. And under apps and notifications, you do have your typical Android 11 layout in which you 
do get a lot of control over your permissions of which apps are you know grouped by permission which apps are using which permissions so pretty pretty good over there moving on if we actually go to the display section you have the brightness level dark theme and if you go to dark theme you do have some customization here as well so you can go ahead and choose to you know select the dark theme of your choice so i choose to select the dark one that is device default or say you can go this oh there you go raven black this is the one which i like because it's an amoled phone although it has been found in recent studies that it doesn't really really save you a lot of battery life but nonetheless i like the dark mode now you have styles and wallpapers where you can go ahead and customize things as per your choice which is what i've done over here you can change the lock screen clock for always on display over here so do you have double tap to sleep yep you have double tap to sleep and the clock over here is available let's go ahead and see if we can change it so let's quickly go to settings over here let's click to apply double tap to sleep as you can see the clock changes and it works as expected now moving on to some further customizations so you have style you have grid you can customize your icons your look very very good amount of customization available there we'll keep it this way this is the way i like it now you have screen timeout and you have auto rotate screen you have colors which works as expected you will see that the preview is working absolutely fine i have not uh, tried the boosted or the adaptive mode screen minimum refresh rate is 60 maximum is 120 as expected you have screen saver lock screen a lot of customization options available in lock screen as well and in advanced as well you have ambient display which you can keep always on or you can select pickup hand wave or pocket sensor so let's go ahead and keep it always on that's the way i prefer to keep it so that's your display menu there right now, apart from this at the bottom you have some basic options like font display size weather status bar items increased touch responsiveness i've kept it enabled for good touch responsiveness and in the sound menu you have your usual you know uh, selection of options like ringtone and stuff and you do get a few options like this one show volume panel on left and media you can hide player or show player and stuff like that you have storage over here but nothing interesting there but if you go to privacy you do have a very very detailed privacy manager in which you can choose to do a lot of things so you can pause the screen and have a look at this because this is really really significant and it really really helps moving on you have location access you have security now the interesting thing in security over here is you have face unlock which works like a charm you have app locker in which you can lock applications say for example let's go ahead and lock the amazon application and let's see what happens when we try to unlock you can use face unlock over here or you can use the pattern or you can use the fingerprint scanner as you can see so once again if you go to security you have smart lock sim card lock and all the other options you can enable or disable app pinning personal data may be accessible there's that so that option if you're into that you can definitely go ahead and use it moving on you do have an option of button you can enable advanced restart playback control volume wake system now over here you don't really have a lot of customizations but you do have a built-in updater and as you can see we are using the latest version you do have these customization options as well so all in all arrow s11 as i said earlier you know it doesn't really focus on a ton of customizations but if you look at the options in detail you will see that this is a very very good rom i've heard really really good things about it coming to this particular rom in the moment i installed it i was really really blown away by the smoothness the consistency of the os not many bugs in fact i have not had any bugs at all now one small downside of this rom is it does heat up the device when you're charging the phone it charges really really fast but you will notice that the device gets significantly hot now moving on if we talk about the battery life i've just lost about 10 percent battery but you will see over here there's a battery temperature screen usage since full charge is 43 minutes and i got the last full charge two hours back so the battery life is pretty significant the 
Screen on time is pretty pretty great and overall the smoothness of the UI is pretty amazing as well. We will soon do a complete review of this ROM because this ROM deserves a complete review. This was a first impressions in which we've not included benchmarks but very soon we will be doing a gaming live stream. So subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you don't miss the daily live streams that we do. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling, take care. Goodbye.